Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to History Heights and Maestro Heights. I'm Gail Masenda. In this episode, we're going to combine two of my great interests in life, history and music, in a very personal way for me. But first, we need to talk just a bit about the music from the Civil War era. During the American Civil War, music was a major source of pride for both the Union North and the Confederate South and provided a much needed diversion for the soldiers. Both sides had active military bands, as well as campfire musicians. Whether the music was played with instruments or simply sung by the soldiers, favorite songs ranged from patriotic melodies meant for marching and rallying the troops to sentimental ballads that reflected the soldiers' yearnings for family and home. It is important for us to remember that in the culture of that time, people were much more likely to make music than passively listen to it. Songs were written and shared to commemorate people and events. Songs were used to make a political stand or rally support for a cause. Many of the songs from the Civil War era are so deeply rooted in our collective American songbook that we no longer think about why those songs were even written. We're going to take a closer look at one of those songs, When Johnny Comes Marching Home, which was popular with both the North and the South. It was copyrighted in 1863 as the Soldiers' Return March. It is credited to Louis Lambert, the pseudonym of Patrick Gilmore. Gilmore later said that although he wrote the lyrics, the tune was based on other songs he had heard. And while Gilmore did not take credit for the song, the title page does say it was introduced by Gilmore's band. Patrick Gilmore was born in Ireland and as a young adult immigrated to America and settled in Boston. He became a very well-known band director and showman. He wrote other songs too, but it is only this one the first one, and published without his name on it, that continues to be enjoyed today. The words are timeless. They express not only the sentiment of the Civil War years, but also a welcoming return for all soldiers of all wars. Do you have a favorite song from the Civil War era that you'd like to know more about? Let me know in that comment section below. And of course, a like, subscribe, or share is a great way that you can support for this channel. And now, here's how this song personally connects history and music for me. In 2015, I was asked to perform an organ concert of Civil War era music. A very unusual request, for sure, but one I was honored to fill. At my daughter Lisa's suggestion, I named the program Join the Ranks. The concert was held in Galesburg, Illinois, in the Central Congregational Church, a magnificent building on the National Register of Historic Places. The pipe organ there is one of the finest I've ever had the privilege of playing. It's a four-manual, 48-rank molar, installed in 1912. Sadly for me, technical difficulties made the performance recording of this 2015 concert unusable but I'm happy to be able to share a rehearsal recording of when Johnny comes marching home with you. Just so you know, the dynamic range of this recording is huge, from very soft to very loud. So here is when Johnny comes marching home again, arranged specifically for this concert and this organ.
the music from bygone era certainly can transport us to a different place and time. But as always, while we can learn from the past, we don't live there. Go be awesome today. Make your own history. Stick around for some more great stories.